going from Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Lily. So, from time to time, I like to watch the show Catfish. But I've noticed that in the Catfish episodes, it's always the same thing. You know, guy meets girl, girl meets boy, boy meets boy, girl meets girl. And they talk for long periods of time. They don't see the person. And they make a thousand excuses. And nine times out of ten, they're not the person that they feel that they they were talking to. And they get hurt and blah, blah, blah. And they forget and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, here are my tips for when you meet people online. When you go online, first thing you do is you go online, you see a person that you think you're interested in, you read their interests and stuff, and you think you might have a, a compatible, compatible signs for you to talk to them. But here are some things where people really get shit fucked up. First off, you go, go on a profile, the first thing you do is you look at the what? the picture. Picture says a thousand words. You know, they can look nice, clean, and everything else. And that's the first thing that you go off of, the first thing that you're devoted to, and you just let all of the real shit behind you just go right out in the window. Nothing matters but this person, but the person in the image is all that you can see. When that's mostly where people get blinded. And here comes my next thing. You know, anything sounds good online. Anybody could sound like they're living a successful lifestyle online. They could type whatever they want. The thing is when you see a profile is to draw you in, to make you interested in talking to them. It's kind of like a job application. If the person don't have that most, most type of skills that can help you further you in the long run, and you can be successful together, then the job nine times out of ten won't call you back. That's the same thing with dating profiles. You put up an image and then you write a bio and you hope that somebody is interested to come back. Do not believe everything you read. You might, they, anybody could put anything else to draw in. They might, you know, seem more confident behind the screen. Anybody could sound confident, cocky, or whatever, but they're not person to person. So that's the thing you want to do. You want to you want to see the picture and you want to you know look at what they wrote and you want to see if you know the what the words that are saying matches the picture. Third of all is that you want to meet them. I stress when I see these shows, I see people that waste you know maybe like five months, a year, even two years, three years, and, and they never seen the person. They always have excuses and everything else. That's when it's time to cut people off. I'm sorry, but if you are talking to somebody and you guys are talking about making life changes and you have never met the person, it's time to cut the cord. You know, nine times out of ten, the same thing they're saying to you, they're saying to thousands other people and half the time they seem perfectly happy on what the attention they're giving back and they're giving the same attention to you and what you're doing is wasting your time nine times out of ten you're wasting money by sending them gifts by sending them you know money itself and things to help further them while you're in a slum and it makes you feel stupid at the end you know sometimes these catfish episodes result to happy endings you know they both were shy and they both you know have a reason why they don't want to see each other and it's legit and they live long and happy lives but on the second thing you have people have sit there behind the cameras or doing behind the computer and they're doing this because they're bored it's something to do and they felt felt more happier doing it behind because they know when they see the person they're not going to get the same reactions they're getting behind you know as if they were talking to them still online when you meet somebody online do the following you see the profile you see the information you check up on the information after a month or two if you see that you are not actually seeing this person hanging out with this person and seeing the lifestyle that they're actually living from what they're posting, it's time to cut them off. Please do not be like half of these people and drag on years and years and years and years of excuses. Nothing doesn't work. We live in 2016 where you can damn near, you know, pay pay your pay your bills by clicking on a damn bill. So there should be no reason why there are no camera phones or what have you. Well, all these places with free Wi-Fi and damn near you can make video chats off of Facebook. Then you there should be no reason. Unless they are like 
what they say they are. They're an entrepreneur. They're doing jobs that require them to work a lot and everything. And unless you are seeing the effects of what they're putting on online, please do not waste your time. That is my best advice that I could give to you. Have I met people online? Yeah. I work in, when I used to start going, I used to live by myself. I used to have a little, you know, a baby, you know, and I didn't really know a lot of people around here. And I'm not the type to be roaming around on the streets because that's how you get in trouble. So I've done online plenty of times. I met good people on there. I met headaches on there. And one of the people I'm meeting in there, yes, I am in a relationship with for many years. And... Things that look good online are not always good. Like people on Facebook, they put on what they're doing and make it seems like they're living such fantastic lifestyle are probably living in a slum. So do me a favor, follow these tips, and maybe you can get more out of life in life instead of in fantasy. This is Lily and I'm out. Nah, 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 come on.